you're very good. I know it's hard during the week, particularly when you've got too many emails to get back to. So fair play to you all. Okay, so starting standing, as I just said. I'll just adjust my camera. Okay, so we're gonna start with our, hold on. Need to make me bigger. Okay, we're gonna start with our feet under our hips, please. Okay. And we're just going to soften the knees, as I said before in other classes. I don't want you squatting down, so there should be no pressure on the back. Upper body is nice and long and tall, and just bend the knees nice and softly, okay? So not too much of a bend. And I want the feet fully grounded, so toes digging into the floor, heels pushing down, okay? And we're going to inhale as we reach our arms all the way up to the ceiling, lengthening up through our rib cage and our stomach, and exhale to come down with the arms, staying in that gentle squat position. Inhale as we reach on up towards the ceiling and exhale to come back down. Try and relax the arms as you bring them up and down, no tension, and exhale. Okay, so don't really, really lock them out too hard. Kind of softly lift and lower down. Inhale as you reach up, as you lift the rib cage, breathe in, exhale to come back down. Good. Staying down in the squat, we're not lifting up and down with our bodies, just staying in that squatted position. Inhale to reach, exhale. So really utilizing the, the expansion of the rib cage, so breathing into those ribs fully. We're gonna go two more, inhale and exhale. The last one, and exhale. From there guys, I'm gonna face you. We're gonna go a little wider with the squat, so bring your feet wider than your hip distance, okay? And we're gonna come down gently, again, not into a full squat position, so don't overthink it. I just want you to fall into a natural position that feels right for you and your hips at this moment in time. The body is still warming up, okay? From here, I want you to bring your hands out, the long shoulder height, and palms facing upwards, okay? We're gonna inhale as we bring our hands together. Exhale to come back down with our arms, staying in that gentle squat again. Inhale to reach on up. Exhale to come back down. Inhale to reach. As you lift those ribs, breathe in. Exhale to bring them back. Good. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to lower for four more. Three, two, and one. We're going to stay in the squat position, palms facing down, and we're going to just circle the arms forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and back. You can go bigger with your circles if you feel you have the control to do so. Okay, whatever feels comfortable. But again, we're still warming the body up, so just be careful of your neck, shoulders if you have any issues there. And one, hold and come back down. Bring the hands out in front, cross them over, exhale and back down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, cross over, exhale. In, two more, one more. Very good. Okay, we're gonna do some single leg stuff. So if you're a little bit uh, unstable or a little bit weak on one side in particular, maybe stabilize by a wall, or if you have a brush handy just to maybe balance on the brush or something, or have a table beside you just so you can grab onto it if you are a little unstable. But just don't bear out of the exercise. Try and do it while holding onto something if you can. So 90 degrees with your right leg, please. Okay, hands on the hips. We're gonna inhale as we bring our leg outwards. Bring it softly down, but not touching the floor. Gently, gently. Back in line with the hip, and then bring it back up. So we're circumducting the hip, out, down, and back around. You might feel a nice little bit of clumping going on there. Again, that's just tightness within the hip socket. And obviously when you're lifting that leg, you're shortening muscles and tendons, ligaments, and then you're lengthening. So it's just them kind of flicking over any kind of bony structure that might be in there. Just softly, gently, inhaling, exhaling. And just be mindful of the, your standing alignment. So make sure that you're not kicking out with one hip. You wanna keep that nice, strong stance. Standing leg is straight, glutes are active, and nice circumduction of the hip, okay? going for. One more of these, please. Very good. 
From there, guys, I want you to bring that leg to 90. We're going to hold it. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me with the other leg. And I want you to softly come down into a squatting position with that standing leg. Just to where you feel, okay, I feel everything contracting. I feel my glutes firing up, hamstrings, quads. I feel my heels driving down to the floor. And that feels far enough for me. And then we're going to come back up. I don't want you to go too low. We're going to go down, slowly inhaling. And then exhaling, coming back up. Make sure your knee isn't going too far forward over the toes. Breathing in, keeping the other leg to 90. Your hip flexor now at this stage should be burning. Just one more in this position. And then we're going to try change it slightly. Okay, so grabbing the ankle of the leg that you were, you had at 90. And I want you to bring it back into like a quad stretch position, okay? So make sure your knees, again, are under your hips, all right, like so. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna squat down while stretching out the hip flexor of the opposing leg, okay? So we just activated the hip flexor, now we're gonna lengthen it, okay? So squatting down softly with that standing leg, single leg. Feel a little bit of instability coming into the leg. The knee wants to kind of veer in, try not let it happen, okay? Good. Keeping that other leg back in line with your hip. So if the knee is forward, it means that you're quite caught up in the hip flexor and you need some more um, hip stretches there. Okay. So just focus on trying to pull that knee gently back, squatting down, lift, lowering down, and then coming back up. Give me one more, please. And then bring that leg down. Before we go on to the other side, we're just going to kind of just stretch out the calves and the Achilles. And um, we're going to inhale, so we're going to squat up, reaching up onto our tippy toes. And then exhale, come down, bend the knees, chest, chest to thighs. Inhale, sweep up again, reaching up towards the ceiling. And exhale, relaxing the arms as you come down, chest down to thighs. Sweep the floor with your hands and back up, reaching up onto the tippy toes. Exhaling. This is a really nice one for loosening out the whole body, releasing any stress that might be there, getting the blood flow to the head. Reaching. One more. Good. Inhale and exhale, coming down. Okay, from there, guys, changing legs, so standing on the opposing leg. And we're going to start with the circumduction of the hips. So bring the opposite leg to 90, hands on the hips, and just feel into where your hips are in place. So make sure that there's no tilt, all right, that one hip isn't higher than the other. But it is bring the leg down a little bit lower than 90, okay? We're going to open it up, bring it back around towards the floor and back up. So don't bring it past your midline on the way back around. Don't bring the knee across. You want to keep it in line with the hip each time you come back down, okay? Feel what's happening on that standing leg. If you feel that you're dropping out too much of your hip, just soften the knee. So do put a little bend in that knee if you need to, okay? Otherwise, keep it gently locked out. If you're anyway hypermobile in your joints, um, if you feel like your knee is kind of pushing back into itself, what I would suggest again is to bend the knee, okay? A lot of people aren't like are hypermobile, but they actually don't know it. So if you've got um super flexible joints, softly bend that knee so you're not gonna damage yourself. One more. Well done. Okay, so again, keeping that leg to 90. Get it in line with your hip. And we're going to bend the opposite knee softly and drive back up, okay? Keep the other leg to 90 if you can. Lower and lift. Breathe in and exhale. Good. Keep that leg up if you can, please. If you find that you're a little unstable, just try variations with the hands if you need to put them in front of your chest, just to center yourself. This is really good for ankle mobility as well. Okay. So you're really stretching out the Achilles each time you come down to that spot. Just give me one more, please. And they're really fighting the ligaments around the ankle are fighting to stabilize you. Okay. We're going to grab the ankle of the leg that was just in a 90 degree angle. And we're going to do the same action with that standing leg. Okay. So the positioning of my quad that I'm stretching is it aligned with my hip. If it's forward, as I said, it means you're very tight, okay? So try and get it back without having to go forward with your upper body, okay? And then from there, lower and lift. 
Okay, with that standing leg. Good. If you find that your balance is off, guys, just put, pick a point in the room, um, a mark on the floor, picture on the wall, whatever, and just focus on one point and don't take your eyes off it, and that will help you balance. They also say if you grab your, your ear and hold your ear, that might help as well. Um, so just try different things that will help you stabilize there on that standing leg. I'm gonna go for one more after this one. Last one, and bring the leg down, okay? From there, guys, just bring the legs wide. I want you to bring your right hip out, bring it back, the left, and then going forward. Big circles, but slow and controlled, so you get a deeper stretch. Right, slowly to the back center, to the left, forward, and then back around. You're really feeling it in the inner adductors also. And the back of the hamstrings when your bum goes back. Adductors again when you go to the other side. And then you're lengthening out the hip flexors as you push forward. You see people doing this sometimes really fast, but I don't think you get the same benefits. Okay, slower sometimes is better. Okay, hold it there. We're going to go the opposite way and then we're going to hit the mat. Okay, well done, everyone. Warm up is done. Good. Just go one more this way, please. Keeping the legs straight, obviously. And bring it back to center. Okay, come to your end of your mat, please. Hope you're all okay. And we're gonna start with just like a lunge position. So bring in the left leg in front and bring it down into that like lunge position. Other leg is lifted off the mat, okay? The relaxation part is over, okay? Hands together, reaching out in front. Okay, and we're going to inhale to stay. Exhale, we're going to rotate to the left side of the room. So you're rotating towards that leg that's out in front. Back into its center as you breathe in. Staying to that same side, left side, we're rotating. Good, back to center. And exhaling. Inhaling, back to center. Keep the hips facing forward though, they do not move. Okay, you'll feel a nice little stretch on the opposite hip as you move to the left. You should feel a little stretch on that right hip flexor. Okay, inhale, exhale. For three more. Two. And one. Very good. Back to center. Gently place your hands either side of your front leg. Okay, so one hand on either side, and we're going to softly bring the leg back in line with the other one and come into a nice plank position. Please, high plank, shoulder blades drawn away, arms are strong, legs are long, heels are pushing away. We're going to bring our bum towards the ceiling, walk your hands back if you need to, if you can get into a deeper stretch, push the heels down, and then coming back into a high plank. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, coming back into a high plank. Squeezing the glutes each time you come back into that high plank position, because as you reach your bum towards the ceiling, the bum bum relaxes. As you come down, don't keep it relaxed, squeeze it. Good. Coming up, bum relaxes, push the heels down. As you come back down, squeezing the glutes. Activate those glutes, guys. Inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Bring the knees down, and we're gonna softly, you say softly, that's my word today, so come down onto our knees and elbows, okay? And then we're gonna come back into a plank position, okay? We're gonna hold the plank, and then we're gonna take an inhale, exhale, bring your right hip down to the mat, and bring it back, left hip down, bring it back, and right. And left, back, right, halfway, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the plank here, bring your bum to ceiling, head down towards the mat, bring it back for five, four, three, two, 
and one. Knees are down. We're going to go on to the other leg now in a moment. We're just going to do some press ups. We'll do the other lunge on the opposite side. So drop the feet down, get into position. 15 reps, wide with the hands. Okay, we're going to lower and lift. Okay, five, four, we'll break it up. Three, two, and one. 10 to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Okay, slowly come back. We're going to come on to the other leg. So come to the lunge position, please, with the other leg. So I had the left leg in front the last time. It's right leg now in front. Elevating the back leg. I'm going to bring it down parallel to the floor. Okay. Bring the hands out in front as you inhale. Squeezing the glute of the back leg. Inhale, exhale to rotate. Back to centre. Exhale, rotate. Back to centre, breathing in. Exhale. Keep that lower leg parallel to the mat. Three more. Last one. Well done. And place the hands down. Back into plank position, please. All right, holding that plank, please. It's going to be quite warm after this. Squeeze the glutes. Thumb to ceiling. Heels are down. You want to bring your legs slightly apart. Do so, whatever feels comfortable. Back into plank. Squeeze the glutes. Thumb to ceiling. Slowly squeezing the glutes as you descend into high plank. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale. Push the heels down. Exhale. Breathe in, heels down, exhale. Nearly there. One more. Well done. Bring the knees down, please. Elbows down, hands together. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Bring your legs back up to plank. We're not going to do the hip rotations this time. We're just going to bring the bum back up, head down on the mat, bring it back. Obviously, you don't get as high. The idea is that you're just challenging your core by moving and testing how strong it is to bring it back into that plank position each time. Okay? Two more. One more. Slowly come down. And okay, we're going back into press up, please. All right. Wide with the hands again. 15 reps, please. Okay, I'm trying to do press up with each class. Build your strength, upper body strength. Okay. Ready and go for five, four. Three, chest down to the floor, please. Five should be meeting the floor. And ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Slowly coming on to you. If you want to place the bands on yourselves, you can. Okay, going forward. Okay, so wrap them around your thighs. And anyone that wants the bands that didn't hear me earlier on, you can get them on um, Max Sport, MC Sport, and they're called Flexi or Flexvit, F L E X V I T. And they're excellent. They're unbelievable. I love them. They're the best ones around, I think. All right, so lower yourself down onto the mat, onto your side. I'm just going to maneuver the camera a little bit. So you can see me fully. Sorry. Oops, the daisy. Okay. Okay. Got me. Okay. Staying onto your sides, please. 
Nice long line, resting the head down onto the, the upper arm. So you're quite level, but your spine isn't, your head isn't dropping down. So support your head with your arm. Long line with the body. Okay, we're just gonna elevate the two feet together here. So both legs are lifted off the mat, okay? And what you feel happening here is that the core is really, really like firing up here to stabilize you on your, your hip, okay? All right, because it obviously wants to fall forward or back. So keeping those legs lifted together, we're holding this position, okay? Take the upper arm away, just so you're not cheating. Just to challenge yourself a little bit more that you're not kind of trying to support yourself. So like keeping that down, you're obviously preventing yourself forward and falling forward or back. So lifting that arm up. Holding the two legs together, stuck together, holding, holding. Feeling the inner thighs firing up on the lower leg. Glutes working for three, two, gently bring them back down. We're gonna lower lift the top leg, bring the band down closer to the knee. You wanna feel it more, lower and lift, okay? For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Holding it here and then bringing that leg to meet it. Holding. Breathing, really feeling the oblique firing up here to keep that kind of lifted position, the leg. Okay, holding. As I said before, if you want to release that upper arm, do so. Good. Challenge yourself a little bit more. And then resting. Okay, we're going to go for 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Well done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Circles forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Go small with your circles if you're struggling. One and back for 10. Nice control here in the core. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, holding and pulsing for 10. Last one, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, I'm burning there, burn. Okay, onto your backs, guys. We'll do the other side in a moment. Let's do some ab exercises first, okay? So from here, I want you to take a big breath in. And on the exhale, rolling into imprint position, please. Okay, we're going to bring one leg to tabletop and then bring the other leg to meet it. Wide with the legs, so meet the resistance of the band. Nice little activation. Taking an inhale here. And on the exhale, I want you to slowly come up into ab prep. But what you're going to do is you're going to bring your knees closer to your upper body. So your knees towards your face and face towards your knees. Inhale as you come down, back into tabletop and head rested on the floor. Exhale to come up, knees towards your face. So the lower part of your spine is slightly lifting. Inhale, you're coming into a deeper imprint with your spine. You're pressing your lower back into the mat. And your abs are really contracting here to bring you closer to your face. Your knees closer to your face and your face closer to your knees. Okay? So you're really shortening those ab muscles but also draw them down. Don't push up with your belly. I want you to draw that belly button down towards your spine. Good. And that breath is gonna help you do that, okay? So it's really important that you exhale, because if you hold on to that air, there's only one way this is gonna go, and it's not gonna be good. The whole body's gonna start to tighten up. Your belly's going to expand. All right, so release the air as you breathe in and out. Inhale, open up, exhale to close off. For two more. One more. Okay, I'm gonna challenge you now, guys. Just rest your head down for a moment. Give your neck a rest. I'm aware of people and their neck constantly tightening up when they're in work all day and then come into class. But just, some people just don't have strong neck. They have weaker necks than others, they hold retention there, so we need to be wary of that. So support your head again, 
We're going to do the same movement, but what we're going to do is we're going to shift the knees to one side. You're going to bring them towards, let's say, the right shoulder. Then you're going to bring it back to center as you breathe in. Head down, exhale, come up as you did on the last one. But the knees are going towards, let's say, you're actually your elbow. Aim forward towards your elbow. Inhale. Bring them back and away. Exhale, shimmy the knees to one side. So you're crossing over your midline with your body, with your knees. Exhale, knees to elbow. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees to elbow. Inhale, center. Alternating sides, please. You're going left with the knees and then you're going to the right. Lifting the lower spine softly off the mat, softly, softly. Okay. And inhale. Really fire up the lower abdominals here. Get the reverse curl going. Good. We're going to go for two more. The last one, you should be really feeling this. Bring the hands down by your side, rest your head down. Bring your knees close to your chest for a moment because I'm nice. Now, if I'm feeling it, you must be feeling it too. All right, sure. A bit there. Are we okay? I hear someone's camera on. You okay? So knees together, feet together. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to bring our right, or bring our legs to the right side of the room, please. Slowly, not all the way to the floor. And then bring it back to center. Inhale, exhale to move to the left. Back to center. We're going to do what we did on Saturday. Take an inhale, exhale, bring your right foot down towards the floor. Bring it back. Keep your imprint of your lower back and left foot down. Good. We're going for five sets. That's one done. Inhale. Exhale, move to the right. Coming back to center, please. And exhale, move to the left. Bring yourself back to center. Inhale, exhale, bring the right foot down. Put your heel or your toes down. Or come halfway down the spine, but make sure you're maintaining imprint. Left leg down. Bring it back. and come over to check on you. Inhale. Exhale, go to the right. Back to center, breathing in. Keep going, come on. No breaks there, Vinny. And back. <laughs> Stung. And back to center. Bring the right foot down. Should be back to center. Bring the left foot down. Good. And then we're going to stay for an inhale. Exhale, go to the other side, please. And inhale, back to center. Go to the other side. Center. Right foot down. Left foot down. Good. Well done, everyone. I'm watching you. Bring it back to center. Come on, Pamela. Lift. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Go one more time, guys. And left. Good. Back to center. Very good. One foot gently down. Softly. Good. And bring your knees into your chest, please. Knees in. <laughs> These are all caught rapid. <laughs> well done. Some of you are smart and have your cameras off. I'm going to start doing that a bit more, guys. I want to start spot checking you and make sure you're doing it right, okay? Not that you're, yeah, I know, just to be sure, to be sure, okay? Okie okay, doke, guys. We're going to come on to our other side. Hope you enjoy those few ab exercises. A little lower down. I will be checking in on you again, so just be mindful. No cheating, no resting, okay? No one is all of doing this at home because I can't catch you. Okay, so take an inhale, exhale, lifting both legs together, holding. Support yourself with your front, with your top arm, put it in front of you. And if you are quite bony in the hip, place something uh, a little bit padded underneath that hip or roll your mat up just to make it a little bit more cushion for your hip. Holding, breathing. If you wanna release that arm, do the upper arm, just to challenge your stability a bit more. Roll that belly button to spine. A lot of shaking going on when you release that arm. A little bit weaker on this left side. For me, for sure. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that lower leg. We're going to lift and lower for, for 10. Nine with the top leg, please. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one, and hold. Bring that lower leg up to meet it, and hold. Breathing. If this is hurting your lower back, guys, just drop the bottom leg and keep the top leg lifted, okay? So as I said, lower back issues, I'm hurting your lower back. Bring the bottom leg to the mat, but keep the lower leg lifted above hip height. And then lower that bottom leg and lift and lower for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay with me guys, one. Circles forward for 10, nine, eight. Breathing through it, please. Okay, the breath will help if you're struggling. Three, two, one, and back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're nearly there. Hold and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Smack, badass. <laughs> Onto your backs again, please. Okay, we're going to bridging. Make sure there's nothing under your head, all right? Somebody's mic is on. So just turn your mic, check and make sure your mics are turned off, just so you don't want anyone hearing you groaning. <laughs> all right, so bring your legs hip distance apart. We're going to take an inhale here. On the exhale, rowing through imprint. So bring yourself into imprint. Once you get to imprint, then peel, peel your spine off the mat, one vertebrae at a time. We're going to Stay up in a bridge position, reaching back with our arms behind us. Okay, so really lengthening from the head all the way down towards the knees. And what I want you to do is push your heels down as the mat and visualize you're pushing your heels towards your back side. So you're pulling your heels backwards. And automatically what you'll feel is those upper hamstrings engaging, glutes firing up nicely. Okay, so a little bit of kind of uh, imaginary and visual kind of resistance there. So just pushing the heels back towards the back of the legs, okay? It's just a little kind of shift in the, the feet. And really just holding this position, feeling what's going on. Close your eyes if you want to. Make sure you're resting on the lower part of your shoulder blades and not your neck, okay? So resting on the bottom part of the shoulder blades. Breathing through it. If you've got your bands on, we're just gonna introduce some abduction. So bringing the legs apart slowly. Anybody else have the legs bands can still do the movement but you won't feel it as challenging, but still getting that movement going. Opening the legs away and then bringing them back in line with your hips slowly. Staying up in the bridge. Breathe in as you bring your legs closer together. Exhale, bring them apart. Good. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in and exhale. Well done. I hope you're getting better at the breathing. If anyone's struggling with it, keep going for two more. Just talk to me after class. And I'll give you some exercises to do. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. We're conditioned to not breathe properly the way we were brought up. So take an inhale and exhale, come down slowly. Brought up in a busy life, stressful environment. Um, we're just conditioned to breathe. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Mute your bloody <laughs> Bring your knees to your chest. <laughs> knees to chest. Well done. <laughs> Definitely a male. So check your camera, all the males. All right, make sure your microphone's on silent. Okay, we're going to go back into bridge position. You made everyone else feel good, though, because they're all struggling, too. Okay, they're not on their own. Take an inhale here, hands down by your sides, please. And on the exhale, I want you to sorry, bring your feet a little bit closer to your bum. Just gives you a bit more stability. And then extend your right leg. Anyone that's quite excuse me, unstable, just hold your leg out in a long, lengthy position, in line with your knee. Everybody else is feeling strong. I want you to lower and lift, just in line with your knee, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Please keep going, those guys. Don't give up if your feet find these hard. 
Okay. Ready there? Three, two, one. Bend the knee, place it down. Check in with your toes, your big toes, bring them together, bring them apart, make sure they're level, and bring your legs back in line. Okay, with your hips. Extending that opposite leg nice and long. We're lowering, lifting for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, come on, 1, <laughs> and hold. Come down gently from your bridge. Good stuff. Just making, I'm going to mute you all. Mute all. Is this somebody not muted? Okay. And then come to seated position, please. Sitting up nice and tall. Okay. Grabbing your shins and just pulling on, on them gently. Take you out of that curvature of your spine. So lengthening through the spine. Sitting up onto the bony part of your back side. Breathing in for a moment. And then as you exhale, just bring your head down towards your knees. And I want you to round forward and rest your head down. Lengthening through the spine. You feel a lovely stretch going through your spine all the way to your neck. Inhale as you, well, it's not very nice actually, it's kind of nervy. Inhale as you pull up, nice and tall. And then exhale, just lead with your head. So just think with your head, coming down towards your knees. Okay, so resting the head down towards the knees. If your head is too far away from your knees, Put one hand on top of the other and rest your head on your hand. And then as you pull yourself back up, bring your hands back down to your shins. Inhale. You need to place your hands on your knees and exhale, rounding down, pushing your head off your shins, off your knees. Inhale, coming up nice and tall, pulling yourself softly on the shin area, and then exhale, coming down, rounding through the spine. You should feel it start to warm up a little bit more. It's less kind of Nervy pain, getting a little better. We're on two more, exhale. One more. Okay. Good. Coming up back onto your sit bones, sitting up nice and tall. Arms are long and reaching forward. Hands are down, okay? We're gonna come back just a slightly off our sit bones. So just sit behind your sit bones, okay? A little bit more padded there, okay? And I just want you to lengthen through the spine, okay? So just staying in that nice V sit position, okay? We're going to inhale as we reach our hands towards the ceiling, just to that point where you feel right. I'm feeling my abs engaging here to try and stabilize me, and then bring them back, okay? We're going to inhale as we reach our hands towards the ceiling, lengthening through the spine even a little bit more, and then bring them back. If you're not very mobile in the shoulder area, just go as far as feels comfortable to you. Inhale and exhale. We're reaching up, staying off the sit bones, so you're constantly staying in that kind of um, sitting back position, so challenging your abs constantly. Okay, that's the sit of pulse. Two, one more. Keep the hands there. Okay, we're going to pulse softly forward and back. Very, very, very small movement. Okay. Okay, but staying behind the sit bones at all times. We're gonna go for five more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. From there, I want you to come back onto your back. Nothing under the head, we're going back into a bridge position because I know with, there's some clients in the class that need this, so um, that's why I'm doing it, okay? Just to build up their strength in their, um, one of their legs, okay. So, and we all need it, to be honest. Kind of, uh, we are going around an imbalance on both sides generally. Okay, so we'll take an inhale here, and on the exhale, wants to bring your hips up off the floor, hands down by your side. From there, I want you to bring your left knee into a tabletop position, holding here. I want you to bring your knee closer to your chest, and bring it back away past your hip. Bring it forward, and then back. Okay, holding, come on, staying up. One more. Place that foot down, please. Okay, other side. No resting, please. Bring the leg forward. 
and bring it slightly forward past your hip. Good. You're bringing it in front of your hip and then down below the hip, okay? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place the feet down. Staying up, please. Close your eyes. Squeeze your glute. Draw your heels back towards your hamstrings. Actively, like not actually moving your heels, just in your mind, kind of a little bit of emphasis on that. As if you're trying to press, trying to press something against your your heels. Okay, press your heels against something. Should I say, holding, 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 and then when you're ready, hands down by your side. Take a breath in, and then coming down one vertebrae at a time, please. Bring your both hips down at the same time. Slowly coming out of that position. Bring your knees into your chest, please, and just rock on your spine side to side. Well done. Coming into side plank now. Okay. Coming onto your left side, please. And we're going to do bent, bent knees. Okay, so bring the knees together. Feet open, so the soles of the feet are facing behind you. And I want um, your knees slightly in front of your hips and hands slightly in front of your shoulder. So it's not in line with your shoulder. Bring it slightly forward of your shoulder. Okay? With your other hand, support yourself to come into that nice uh, side plank position. And if you feel that your hand still isn't under your shoulder, bring it under. Okay, so okay, so just before we begin. So holding this nice side plank position, holding and breathing. I want you to bring your awareness to where your hips are at, place your hand on your hip, make sure that it's not rotated back, okay? We want that nice um, long line from your shoulder to your knees, okay? Have a little look down at your knees if you want to make sure that they're not pointing forward. And then we're gonna challenge you, okay? So we're gonna lift that top leg and lower it down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five. If you're finding the leg abduction too hard, just hold the side plank. Okay. Two and one. Okay. Stay here, guys. Lower the hip down and back up for ten. Nine. Eight. Come on, a lot of strength needed in the arms to do this. Okay. Stay with me. Don't worry. You don't need to go all the way down. So four, three. Two, just even a little bit. One, hold. Release the arm for five, four, three, two, come down. Lovely stuff. Resting your body down off the floor. Keep the knees bent. We're going to go into clams. So ankles uh, locked together, knees together. We're going to open and close. Okay. So opening the top leg, keep the ankles stuck together and lower again, hip facing forward and coming down slowly. So control, if you've got bands on guys, don't let the band pull your leg back down really quickly. You want to meet the resistance of the band and control coming down, okay? That's it, really control. For five more. Four. Three. Two and one. From there, lift that top leg away, ankles away, lower lift for ten. Pull that belly button in. Nine. Make sure you're active. We'll have six packs in no time, guys. Let's fly it. Okay, well done. For two packs. Ronaldo pack. <laughs> and one more. Lovely stuff. Bring your leg long, hand on the outside of your thigh, hand in front slightly. So forward of your body, the lower hand, okay? Long line with your body. We're gonna inhale, stay. And then on the exhale, lifting that top leg and reaching towards the outer knee. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, well done. Two and one. Good stuff. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. 
We're going to go onto our bums for a moment and then we'll do the other side and then you're done, okay? So sitting up nice and tall. We're going to reach those arms long again, hands facing each other this time, rounding through the stomach. So thinking down, bring your ribcage down towards your pelvis, okay? Let yourself round. And then rolling back slowly. You're going to reach your left arm as you lengthen through your spine, reaching back, looking at your hand, and then bring it back. As you slowly bring that arm across, you round and come up nice and tall. Breathing in here and then exhaling, rounding away and reaching that arm. Keep the resistance on the band, coming forward with that arm and then sitting up. Breathe, breathing in, exhale. Breathing in. Breathing in. Good. Maybe there. Give me two more. One more. And just let yourself hang over your knees, grab, hug your knees, and just rest your body. Lock your head down. And then we're going to do our other side. So come into side plank, please. Bring your knees together, slightly in front of your hips. Lower hand slightly in front of your shoulder, another hand in front, okay? Supporting yourself, we're going to come into our nice side plank position. Coming very nice, letting you go on your knees, okay? And just be aware of where your hips are in space before we start to lift that leg. Don't worry if you can't lift your leg, just stay in the side plank and hold the position, okay? Ready? And we're going to lift, make sure your hand is under your shoulders for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If you're really struggling, you can come onto your elbow for the next one, okay? So don't worry. If you're struggling, just come down to your elbow. It's a bit easier. 9, lower the hip down. 8. Seven, six, and come on over. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Well done. Okay, lying down at your sides, please. Yeah, knees are stacked slightly in front of your body. Bring your knees slightly forward, Lorena. So bend the knees, yeah, and bring the feet under your backside. We're going for clams. Heels are locked together. Knees are bent. Bring your knees forward a small bit, Pamela. And I want every sorry, so just hold it, guys. So everyone put their hands on their hips, their top hand on their top hip, okay? Those hips should be completely facing forward. Don't let that upper hip come back. If it starts to move back, it means your leg is going too high, okay? So don't worry about how high your leg goes. Just go as far as the hip allows you. Ankles are stuck together. And we're going to go for another go. Ten. All right, some of you have done more. Nine. Hey, so you're down on your on your lying down, please. Lying down. Okay. Plan position. Good. And you should be finished by then. And then elevate the top leg. Lower and lift for 10, 9, 8, 7. Bend the knees. 6, Good. 4, 3. Two, one. Lengthen the legs, please. Extending the arm. Rest your head down. Other hand on top of the outside of your thigh. Okay. Take a breath in here. Bring, sorry, bring your lower hand slightly in front. Okay, just to stabilize you. Inhale, and as you exhale, you can push into the floor softly with your lower hand and reaching up towards the outer knee. Inhale as you lower down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. I'm going to come over and check on you now. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Good. Come on, Vin. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Come on, we're nearly finished. These are the last few exercises. Come on. Give me four more. Very good. Excellent, Alan. Three, two, one more. You red face on me. Holy moly. <laughs> and relax. Good job. We're going to do a bit of stretching, okay? That was really good. Hope you're all okay. Um, just take your bands off and just have them there. We'll just do a little stretch with the hamstrings as well. 
So grab your band and come down onto your back if you have a band, that is. Don't worry about it if you don't. If you don't have a band, just hold the back of your knee and lengthen up through the hamstring squeeze. Keep the other leg bent. If you do have a band, wrap it around your foot. Hold it nice and tight, securely. Or if you have a long towel there, you can use a towel either, okay? And then release the other leg when you can. Holding the bands, make sure they don't smack you in the face. And really lengthening through those hamstrings, please. Okay. Breathing. Hope you enjoy the class. It's amazing. I think I'm going to have to keep checking in on you. You are taking a little rest there. So bend the knee towards your chest, okay? If you don't have a band, just place your hand just uh, at the crevice of the back of the knee, push on the hamstring rather than right behind the knee. So just above the knee. And what you're going to do is you're going to lengthen through the back of the leg. So try and straighten the leg, but keeping that upper thigh where it is, okay, higher. If you have a band, just push into the thigh or into the band with your foot and try and lengthen through the back of the leg. Now your leg should be shaking. So I'll show you again. My leg is staying here. My thigh is to my chest, my stomach, should I say? I'm not that flexible. So my thigh is to my stomach, okay? And then I'm just thinking with the lower part of my leg. I'm opening up that angle at the back of the knee. I'm leading with my lower leg. I am shaking here because it's definitely quite tight at the lower hamstring. So you're getting the lower part of the hamstring here. That's a really, really good stretch for the lower hamstring. Holding. And then slowly swapping over, bring the other knee towards your chest, and then release the other leg down. We'll start with just a straight leg hamstring stretch. So holding the leg straight. If you don't have a band, just as I said, place your hands behind your leg and keep the other knee bent. Okay, if you have a band, extend and lengthen. Well done. And then bending that leg and bend the other leg towards, bring the thigh towards your stomach. And just as I said, think with the lower part of your leg. So you're trying to push the sole of the foot towards the ceiling and just opening up the angle of the back of the knee. All right. Very good. I'm going to bring it to kind of 180 if you can. Better on this side. A little shaky. And then bring the knee back down towards your chest. And then go from there again. Definitely not as bad on this side. And then we're going to release the other leg straight and then bring your knee towards your opposite shoulder. Bending the leg up on the floor. Place your foot onto your um, thigh. You can lose the band for now. So just place that foot on top of your lower thigh, above your knee, and just push open that hip area with your hand of the other leg. So push against the inner knee and open up that space. And then you're going to grab the back of your thigh, okay, and slowly bring that leg towards you. you just get a lovely stretch in that bone. So you should feel it. If it's your right foot that's on your thigh, you should feel it in your right glute uh, or meridian. Lovely one, in around the hip. Okay. Gently place that foot down, and we will go with the other side. Okay, so we're going to slowly bring that knee to opposite shoulder. Feel it in the glutes today, particularly with just plenty of glute exercises. And then we're going to place that foot on the lower thigh above the knee, and we're going to grab the back of the thigh, interlock your fingers to support yourself, and then slowly bring your leg forward, so lifting that foot off the floor. You may feel a little bit more caught up in one hip than the other. That's okay. Don't force it. If you feel it too much, just grab your leg and bring it forward off the shoulder as we already did, okay? It's just a little deep. Okay. And then coming up to seated, okay. 
finish off with just two more stretches. So bring yourselves into mermaid. And if you feel that you need a bit more after um, class, spend a bit more time if you have a stretching, foam rolling if you do have time. So coming up into mermaid position, so the foot against the thigh, other leg behind you. And I want you to just, again, open up that leg. So push that leg down towards the floor if you can. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to reach towards the opposite side. So you're reaching away from that leg at the front. And breathing. Down, go one more this way. And slowly out of it. Flap over, please. Right foot onto your left thigh. Find sitting up as tall as you can. Keep that thigh down. And then we're going to reach over the opposite side. Okay, you should feel a good stretch. If you're not feeling a stretch, it means you're reaching the wrong way. Just have a look at what I'm doing. My right leg is in front. I'm reaching to my left side, right to left. Down. And just come to kneeling, please. Bring your right foot out, spell the foot down. So your foot should be fully flat on the floor. And just walk your hand down the outer side of your uh, leg. And then releasing that arm once you're got into that correct position. And you should feel a nice little stretch in the adductors and also the lateral side as we just stretched already. That, swap leg, please. Step on the foot down, line with your hip, and then reaching over. Lovely. And we're just going to finish with one gentle movement. So staying on your knees, I want you to place your hands on your on your lower thighs, so just above your knees, okay? I want you to take a big breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to bring your chin to your chest. And I want you to push through your hips. So your hips are coming forward like you would in Kat Your chin is still rounding towards your chest. Head coming down, rounding your spine, pushing into your hands. So you're rounding your back, okay? Chin to chest, looking at your leg. We're going to inhale as we bring our bum away, kind of aiming towards our heels, lengthen through your spine. And I want you to lengthen your arms, so no bend in the arms, and looking up at the ceiling, lengthen through the front of your neck. Breathing in and exhale, just one more each way. Round into the spine. Really, really round into your spine. Draw belly button towards your spine, also head comes down. And one more. Inhale, bone comes down towards the heels. Lengthen through your back, straighten the arms, and then push up the neck, looking up at the feeling you can. And then come down to your heels and relax down. And just take a moment here, take five breaths in and out, and just take a second for a few seconds for yourself. And just be thankful that you're able to be here at half 11 on a Tuesday morning doing a Pilates class. You're not in a car driving anywhere, being stressed. You're healthy and well, and lucky to be able to be here. <laughs>